What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today, I will be going over one of the new effects that is included in Reason 11, the Quartet Chorus Ensemble. Now, I'm going to be playing with it on this specific instrument within my beat. So, let's just get straight into it. This Chorus Ensemble effect has four different types of uh, chorus effects, hence the name Quartet. So, Let's go ahead and start with chorus, and then we'll work our way down. Actually, before I even get to that, I will want to say that if you turn on this stereo, you'll get a stereo output, and then you can also get a mono output. So that is completely up to you. I'm going to keep this on stereo. Now, let's start with chorus. Chorus is the most basic chorus effect on the quartet chorus ensemble. Let's um actually, yeah, we're good. So this is the signal without anything on it. This is our delay parameter. You can hear what's going on there. Mod depth. So this mod depth parameter is gonna affect the depth of the modulation. So at zero, Next we have mod rate. This is going to select the frequency from low to high. Feedback is going to increase the feedback and how much is fed back into the delay before going to the output. And we'll have width knob. And as you can see, as I pull it to the right, it gets wider in the stereo field. The dry wet knob is going to determine how much of this effect we want. All the way to the right, it creates a flanger effect, whereas anywhere in between will be more of with the court. We'll stick to the course effect. Next in line, we have the BBD effect. BBD stands for Bucket Brigade Delay. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, brigade, Brigade. I think that's correct. So on this, we do have separate dry and wet knobs for each one. So starting with this delay, as we turn it up, So what this BBD parameter does is it is what it is is it is three course effects in parallel <laughs> delay as we turn that up my depth frequency noise modulation width again and a dry wet knob keep in mind if mod depth is set to zero the delay time will be static now we hear the delays This noise mod is basically a low pass filtered noise. And you can slowly hear it coming in. Now if noise mod and mod depth are on both set to zero, then the width is not going to do anything. The next page in the Quartet Course Ensemble is FFT. FFT stands for Fast Fourier Transform. So 
basically it's going to convert our signal into that of a representative of the frequency, the Fourier, and we'll get sounds like this. Now here with the FFT size, one will analyze this data quickly, the signal that we're sending it, but it will get rid of our low frequency, so let's listen to it. And as we move it up, it gets more accurate, but in turn it gets slower. If I turn the metronome on, you can kind of hear how it starts to lag. Mod depth is going to set the, the depth of the noise particles that are modulating the signal. Here we can change the frequency range that is being affected. And the width. And we have a dry wet knob again, which is independent from the other four. The last page in this quartet course ensemble is a grain effect. Now, this will randomize the grains, giving us a uh, more poppy effect. And we'll notice this more once we mess with the other parameters. So size, this will change the length of the grains. This will make it more stud studier, more, it'll make it stutter as it is uh, shorter in grain size, grain length, and it'll be smoother as it is longer. We'll mess with this as we get over here. So, long grain so it's smooth. Mod depth. We have the pitch bending with that jitter. This will also cause stutters. Now if we turn this on, this will randomize the position, the start position within the grains. So this density parameter here will be a combination of the amount of, of grain size, playback rate, and the amount of overlap within the grains. A width knob here as well, and a dry wet knob. Now to see how this fits into my track, I'm going to change it until it fits. So I prefer it on the grain effect as of right now, and I can change this to dual mono. Keep it on stereo. I'm gonna keep it on stereo. So that is a rough explanation of the quartet course ensemble. Definitely um, check it out. Use it in your productions. Let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cookup.